Hey folks, today we're going to make an epic diorama out of this ostrich egg here. So stay tuned and let's go! I want to make it look like the shell broke out. That's why I draw the rough outline and start cutting that out with a Dremel. But that didn't work. It stings. Believe me, it smells horrible. Like burnt hair. Maybe we can scratch it and break it out. With an old saw I first work out a square. And then carefully break out the rest piece by piece with pliers. And then untangle 100 LED lights. Help! Thread them through. And glue them down. I thought it lasts forever. But it was totally worth it. A little spotty, but pff, who cares. This is UV curing resin. And it sets down with this lamp here in a few minutes. I mix a little bit purple into it. Turn the egg upside down and create a night sky. For the landscape I first cut out some foam strips. <sighs> then I cover the walls in the egg with it. Good, huh? <laughs> Looks great. Let's turn briefly to the base. For this I take an old cover for CD blanks. Then I glue a rectangle of foam into it that has the same size as the battery box of the LEDs. I mix some plaster with water and fill the mold with it. Now I press the egg wrapped in cling foil into it. After drying the whole thing is glued with plaster pieces. For which I apply plaster on crumbled aluminium foil to get a rocky structure. The spaces between the base as well as the foam landscape in the egg are also still structured with plaster. Once the whole thing is cured I prime everything black. This is what I look forward to the most. I borrowed this illegal Mars from a good friend. On my minifactory.com I choose an epic bear for a spirit and load the STL file into the slicing program. In my opinion the result is awesome. I never ever thought it works perfectly. Alright, let's paint this little beast and roll the montage. Back to the egg. I added a few brown and grey tones and then dry brush the whole thing to highlight the rocky structure. I painted the water area with different shades of blue. And add some more details like plants and gravel. The most difficult part of this project to make a semicircular shape without all the resin leaking out. With a measuring cap that I could bend well, I managed it. I carefully sealed the edges with a brush and acrylic sealant. Seriously, it took me one hour to get this done. A few drops of blue into the resin and we can pour the whole thing carefully. Yep, that's a lot of smoke. <laughs> The casting was almost perfect. Oh yes! But I have to rework a little with sandpaper. And then again a thin layer of resin. I add grass and bushes and the small medieval house that I still have printed. The water effect of Alejo is just great. So the tree I made from old copper wires and wrapped it with glue and thin toilet paper. After drying painted and flocked. Alright, if you liked the video and enjoyed the project, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And now, the moment of truth. Here's our final result.
If you like Skyrim, then watch this video here. There I make a Tetrix sword. Ciao, gell? <laughs>